la 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 I see the new evolved 대적인 고난 가수 품 은넌 더팍 빙진화 시켜 That's my now is this my now I was about to do something that I had told people I'm about to do since a long time ever since FemBTI which was the earliest content uh, for the Seraphim and it is an MBTI test and the only test I've always known of is the 16 personalities one that's the one I'm gonna do I know some people always there was always people pointing towards like do this one do that one do this one do that one I'm gonna go with this one because it's the one I know okay um, if there's other tests that maybe I should have taken instead of this one then I'm not gonna make a video on them but you could let me know and I'll do it myself also let me know if you've done this, what yours is, people have been asking me to, well, how dare you? People have been asking me to do this for a while. To be honest, I brought it up to begin with and I've just not done it. Um, so since people have kept reminding me to do it, I'm gonna finally do it right now. I've taken it when I was back in high school and that was 10 years ago, a little over 10 years ago. So um, I was, I remember, I feel like I've told y'all what I remember before and I'm probably gonna say something different this time. What I wanna say is INFJ. I don't know if what I, that's what I told y'all last time, but at the same time, it's, it's a mix of letters that I don't even remember if the first one I told you was the actual one. So I just know the first letter was I, okay? So uh, that means introverted, and uh, we're gonna just like look at the test and see what it is. So regularly make friends. <sighs> this is, you're gonna see a lot from, you're gonna learn a lot from me right here, okay? You're gonna learn a lot from me. I would put, this is like strongly disagree, right? I'm not completely, I would say disagree, just cause I, I don't talk to nobody, bro. I dead ass don't. I have like literally my small group of friends that I've never met in person from Xbox, that's it. I don't talk to no one else. And like we've just become friends for like 10 years essentially. Spend a lot of free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. I'd agree with that decently. Seeing people care or cry, it easily make you feel like you want to cry too. Yeah, I'm very empathetic. Um, you have to make a backup plan for a backup plan. Boy, shit don't go right, bro. I'm just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Usually stay calm under, pre under a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, that's all right. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already... Yep. You prefer to... Oh, 10%. So it's probably 10, 10 pages worth. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. I'll say yes, but I never do. Oh, so I'm gonna go here. Because I prefer to do that, but I swear I have a certain level of ADD or something. I've never been like... I don't know what would be the right way to say it evaluated or something like where I lie there But I feel like I have a certain level because I get so distracted. You are very sentimental I I'll agree. I'll agree slightly. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists <laughs> No <laughs> Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge I disagree. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation see I'm gonna disagree, but not strongly because I would, I would go up to someone and talk to them, but that's not the first order of business in my brain. <laughs> no, the first order of business is like, keep to yourself, Mondo. <laughs> you are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analysis of creative works. You're not too interested in discussing. I disagree. I am, right? I would disagree because I do like to talk about stuff like this, yeah. You are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. See, some of these make you think real deep. Hold on. I think I do both. I think I think logically, but I also am considerate, you know? I think that's the part that's like thinking with your heart. I'm gonna put in between because I can't decide. That's such a cop out. I think I'm leaning more towards thinking with my heart. You usually prefer doing what you, I think it's more like this, honestly. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. Yep. This is why I don't be taking suggestions on my videos, by the way. <laughs> this is, I kind of just do what I want, which is, I probably should like take more suggestions and stuff like that, especially for things like Patreon, but I kind of just like doing what I want. That's why my Patreon's only a dollar, bro, because if I told you I'd go give me $3, I'll, I'll still do whatever I want. It's been fucked. <laughs> Uh, you rarely worry about whether you make good a good impression on people you meet. I, I agree, but that's because I usually don't feel like I leave a bad impression. Apart from the people that tell me that I looked unapproachable. And that's where the whole, I'm pretty sure I'm still introverted thing comes in. Because <laughs> I come off as unapproachable sometimes, but I'm not unapproachable at all. Uh, you enjoy participating in group activities. See? 
I do, kinda. Like, I do, but it's not the first thing on my mind. Like, I would rather not. So, I'll put that. Uh, you like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. Hell yes. Your happiness comes from, comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. I feel like you should be a lot more happy when you do things. But I do get very happy when I help someone else accomplish something, you know? So, I'll, I'll go like that. You are interested in so many things that you find it more difficult. You find it difficult to choose what to try next. I got a text message. Look at me. I, I'm, I don't have to answer it, but I'm gonna. I'll say I agree. Why? Because that's how I feel with YouTube and all the groups I follow and not being able to like fully decide what to like check out next or like what I should like invest my time into, you know, because there's only so many hours in a day. I, YouTube isn't my only thing, so I can't invest every hour of my day into just videos. If I, if it was my only thing, then probably I could, but I can't. So it's hard to decide like things like that, you know? You are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Not just, not just straight up pessimistic. No, I usually kind of just like hope things turn out well and if they turn out poorly we deal with it then you avoid leadership roles in group settings i agree unless i can tell that people really don't know what the hell they're doing but i agree i would rather if i can tell someone else is very good at it i'd rather them lead and then i'll follow and help along the way because i know i could also potentially lead, but i just don't want to you are definitely not an artistic type of person Listen, I want a poetry slam in elementary school. Don't fuck with me. You know what? I must say I agree because I've been able to randomly pick up so many things like back in like, like between the ages of like 16 and like 23 when I used to like actually try different things that were artistic, like whether it was singing, whether it was drawing or painting and did pretty well. So I'm gonna just say, yeah, but I don't pursue it. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings. Oh. Oh, murky waters. <laughs> murky waters, hold on. I don't know, that's so tough. This is where the whole, like, I have that whole sentimental, like, empathetic side of me that I would like to think about others' feelings as well. And then this whole, like, let's do what makes sense. People are most under rationality. In some cases, so I think I lie either here or here, but which way do I lean? Slightly agree. Very slightly. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. Back in my day, bro, I like, won't talk about it. I was catching a chunk clap, I didn't do them, but that's how I felt. You enjoy watching people argue? <laughs> do I enjoy watching people argue? Why am I debating this? I don't enjoy watching people argue. I'm gonna say no. It's nice seeing two different perspectives, as long as it doesn't get physical. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. I agree. Your mood can change very quickly. Uh, I'll, I'll disagree. I'm a pretty level-headed person. I just have like, when I'm mad or I'm angry at you, you don't get it. Probably verbally, like you'll know. That's the thing, like it's not that, not that I switch like that, but you have to have really pissed me off and then you got, you got Bronx Mondo. Uh, that's, 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 that's what happened. <laughs> you lose patience. My gosh, my gosh, it's my song. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. I'm not efficient. I'm not efficient. So you know what, I'm a, I'm a strongly disagree. When I, the things I am efficient at and I think they're just basic and you should be able to do it, it can be a little frustrating. Do I lose patience? Uh, not really, because I, I would like to see people try to get things right. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. <sighs> oh boy. You have always been fascinated by the question of what, if anything, happens after death. Disagree. I'll disagree there, because you gotta wonder sometimes, bro. I do kind of like believe in like reincarnation, but I have no necessary like religious path I follow. I don't know exactly where that leans with, but I do kind of believe in like reincarnation. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. I'll disagree, bro, but I, it's nice. Company is nice, but I do kind of more, more often than not, it will just leave me alone. Or I'd rather be on my own, not leave me alone. I'm approachable. <laughs> you become bored or lose interest when in discussions that get highly theoretical. No, I disagree. I like that shit. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. I strongly agree. You usually postpone finalizing decisions for a, as long as possible. Mm, 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 mm. Finalizing decisions for as long as possible. The thing is that I don't postpone finalizing decisions. I just randomly change them no matter if I quote unquote finalize them. So I will slightly disagree. You rarely second guess the choices that you have made. I disagree. Uh, this much. Not strong way. Cause I like to live with my choices, but also I'm like, I could have done this. 
you know. After a long, exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you fuck off. You enjoy going to a, a art museums. I'll disagree. I'm not gonna strongly disagree. Like I hate it. it. Doesn't call my attention. You often. I like art. But I like kind of like seeing art online, random stuff. Not like pieces like what you see, like like the Van Gogh ones. I don't get them. I don't get it. People say, oh, it's abstract. You gotta look here, here, and here and see the beauty in it. I'm like, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. If I was high, I might. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. I wanna say I disagree. At the same time, you don't always necessarily, just cause you feel, say, I understand how you feel, you don't necessarily truly understand how you feel. And it could be a little bit insensitive to just be saying that freely. I am very understanding of other people. And like, if they're dealing with something, I'm like, yo, this may seem light to me, but I know there's things that's that weigh heavily on me that may seem light to someone else you know you like to have a to-do list for each day i would like to but i don't so i was i must say i because I, I would like to but i don't have one where, where does that put me it doesn't say you would like to it says you like to because i don't have one so i'm gonna say i just slightly disagree uh you rarely feel insecure eh, I, i'll say i disagree um you avoid making phone calls and you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. I agree. I should have put strongly agree there, to be honest, but it's, it's the same thing, kind of, I guess. In your social circle, you are... Oh, I don't have a social circle. <laughs> I already can't answer this question. In your social circle, you often... Uh, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiates... Like, no, not even on the Xbox. When we try to play a game, not even. We just kind of get together on Discord, we talk, and that's it. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. It is, but I don't always do it, so I agree. You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. I agree. Does that contradict something I said earlier? I feel like it might. I don't think it does, because I think I didn't go heavily on the one that it might contradict back. Or it might go hand in hand with it. I don't know. I will say, hey, no celestial. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. I agree. Uh, your emotions control you more than you control them. I disagree. Uh, you take great care not to make people look bad, even when it's completely their fault. I agree. Thing is that, let's just say I'm representing some kind of project or something. I still want to do my part to do well, bro. Not necessarily to protect their rim, it's just because I want to do my thing, you know? So I'll say I slightly agree just because that would be a domino effect of like things going well anyway. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent efforts. <laughs> when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. I don't think like maybe someone feeling disappointed in me, like I'm like always thinking about it, you know? So I'm gonna say disagree. I'm gonna say disagree. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. You believe that pondering, <laughs> that was so quick. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. I disagree. Same time, you don't gotta always be doing that shit, you know? Like, it's not going to find nothing. You feel more drawn to places with busy, but no. You know at first glance how someone is feeling. You don't always, so I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say slightly disagree, but you can kind of get, I, I, I catch vibes. I catch vibes. I'm pretty decent at catching vibes. I can tell when someone wants to be talked to, someone don't want to be messed with, this, that, the other. I, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on that. I, you know, you can't, you don't always know. Like I said, people be saying like, sometimes I don't look approachable. But I am, bro. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> People used to say that. It was a long time ago. You have to feel overwhelmed. In what sense? Just in general? Overwhelmed? Uh, I'll, I'll, to be honest, I'll agree, actually. I agree. I'll, I'll, outside of you, like, a lot of y'all just see, like, the YouTube side of things. And, like, apart from that, like, combined with me wanting to be, like, on time to stuff. Like, I literally just did Leniverse, But, like, let's just say it's a day where, like, I can't get to Leniverse right away. I do feel overwhelmed with it because I feel like I have to. Slash also, because I want to watch the content. And also feel like I have to get it out for y'all. But... Y'all are also very understanding when I can't get things up because everyone knows that life is life and things happen, you know? Life be lifing. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. I want to say I agree when I have to, you know? You're very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. As in like questioning, like maybe why is it controversial? I, I guess I'll agree. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. You say good opportunity, I'm thinking of what I would consider a good opportunity, bro. Like such a dick for wanting to go over here. <laughs> I'm gonna go here because you know, I have a conscience, okay? I have a conscience and it was someone like on their last leg and they would love to do a certain thing that I'm getting the chance to do. I think I, I let them do it. You struggle with deadlines, with deadlines. I'll say I, I, in, in high school I did. 
Yeah, I'll say yeah. You feel confident that things will work out for you. I agree. I agree. I like to think that when I put forth the uh, effort to do things, it's because I know it'll work out. Does it always work out? No. Do I think it always will work out? No. But I'm confident that if I work on something, that it, sh it should. Yeah, it will, yeah. Mediator. INFP. Dash A. Mediators are poetic, kind, and ultra altruist. I've never seen that word in my life. Altruistic people. Always eager to help a good cause. Oh. That's me. 86% introverted. God damn. 14% and you know what? I feel like this makes sense, this split. You know? Cause I'm like, I come off to a lot of people as extroverted. But that's once I'm in an environment with people I'm comfortable with, you know? Like on YouTube, I probably came off very like introverted in the beginning. Right now I probably if I tell you I'm introverted, I tell people I'm introverted, they think opposite just because of how I present myself. Um and it's not like some facade I'm putting on to make myself seem extroverted. It's just I'm now comfortable in front of the camera and it's almost like I know I'm talking to a lot of people while watching these videos uh, but it's almost like I'm talking speaking to one body you know so I'm comfortable with the one body even though it's a lot of people but in person I, I, I can be a little bit more shy okay and I literally came into play recently at Dreamcatchers concert actually uh, introverted individuals tend to prefer fewer yet deep and meaningful social interactions and often feel drawn to calmer environments. Yeah, I agree. 58% intuitive. Intuitive individuals are very imaginative, open-minded, and curious. They value originality and focus on hidden meanings and distant possibilities. Yes. Feeling and thinking. Feeling individuals, 59% feeling. Feeling individuals value emotional expression and sensitivity. They place a lot of importance on empathy, social harmony, and cooperation. Yep, I, I'm glad this is leaning that way because I feel like that's how I am. I think personally, I'm a little too, maybe too empathetic. You know, sometimes I'm like, why am I crying to this thing? It doesn't affect me as much, but it's like, I can feel it sometimes, you know? So, uh, I feel like this is, this is, this is that's really accurate, bro. What in the world? 71% prospect. Prospecting individuals are very good at improvising and adapting to opportunities. They tend to be flexible, non-conformists who value novelty above stability. 57% assertive. What's, what's, that, what's the proper definition of turbulent? Characterized by conflict, disorder, or confusion, not controlled or calm. Oh, I'm not turbulent, I'm, I'm calm. But assertive? Assertive individuals are self-assured, even tempered and resistant to stress. I'm not resistant to stress. I refuse to worry too much and tend to be self-confident when striving to achieve goals. I do, I do experience stress, bro. But I do also, this is also very accurate, which is weird to say that I stress a lot and also refuse to worry too much. It's like a mix, which I feel like is why I'm right in the middle, like close to the middle. That's crazy, bro, because I do refuse, like, sometimes I'm a bit too nonchalant when it comes to some things that maybe I should care more about. Oh, and that's it, and then email me my, my things. So I, I entered my email and now it took me here. So what is this? This is my profile? Uh, mediator personality, INFPA slash INFPT. Creative and imaginative, they happily lose themselves in daydreams, inventing all sorts of stories and conversations in their minds, bro. <laughs> oh my God, bro, it's like they know I talk to myself. <laughs> These personalities are known for their sensitivity. Mediators can have profound emotional responses to music. Oh my God. Because this personality type makes, such a, makes up such a small portion of the population, mediators may have may sometimes feel lonely or invisible, adrift in a world that doesn't seem to appreciate the traits that make them unique. That's crazy for a person like me to be this and also like have a YouTube channel where I like, share everything, like speak about everything, you know, it's wild. Mediators are compassionate and not judgmental. Always willing to hear another person's story. When someone opens up to them and turns them or turns to them for comfort, they feel honored to listen and be of help. Oh, you know what? I, I have actually always been that way. Speaking their truth, few things make mediators more uneasy than pretending to be someone they aren't. With their sensitivity and their commitment to authenticity, people with this personality type can tend to crave opportunities for creative self-expression. So let's look at the strengths and weaknesses. I'll probably cut this up because this is a very long video. Strengths and weaknesses, mediator strengths, empathetic, generous, open-minded, creative, passionate, uh, idealistic mediators weaknesses unrealistic oh my god <laughs> explain to me <laughs> nothing in this world is perfect and that can be difficult truth for mediators to accept people with this personality type can be hopeless romantics with their rose colored visions yo why are you being this way to me 
Why are you bringing forth old memories, fam? Self-isolating. I see. This is it's like, yo, when you see when quarantine started, bro, I didn't change much. <laughs> Sad to say, <laughs> I changed was What was that meme going around? Like, everybody's complaining about quarantine. Like, most of y'all didn't live that life already. <laughs> uh, unfocused. I had. Is this all? Is this? Is this less about potentially having some level of ADD and more about that's just my personality type or something? Ima imaginative, introverted nature doesn't always lend itself to productivity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All oh, this is so fucking accurate. It's ridiculous. Emotionally vulnerable. Wow. Self-critical, I do criticize myself. See, I'll come back and read all those because I'm sure a lot of y'all knows what those means necessarily, probably. Like, if you're watching this video, you probably know. This is so interesting, bro. It's so interesting how accurate it actually was. And the thing is that I think, I'm trying to remember like back then, which I can't really remember it, how accurate it was back then. And I think I'm pretty sure my reaction was similar. Like it was just very accurate. And I always found it weird. I, I finally did it. And I am INFP-A slash INFP-T. 85% of certain media say that they feel comfortable with themselves compared to 40% of certain media. So essentially, I am INFP. Interesting. Listen, let me know yours, what it means. <laughs> Can we be friends? Can we be friends based on my, <laughs> based on mine? <laughs> this is crazy how accurate this is, bro. And it's crazy how long it took me to finally do this because literally since FinBTI that I wanted to do this, that I said that I would do this.